collage. I still like saying that. What's good, Power with the Vector Peeps? Today I'm going to show you the collage to full screen effect using Power Director 17. If you've been trying to make one of your collage video clips zoom into full screen and then go back into the collage, I want you to put hashtag collage full screen in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director 17. Zooming from a collage to a full screen shot pulls the focus from multiple shots onto one particular shot that you want your audience to focus on. It's a cool way to shift from a large perspective to a smaller one. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom from a collage to a full screen view. Let's get collage. -y. First, we need to create the collage. So you wanna go up here to plugins. Then you wanna click on video collage designer. And the video collage designer opens and then you wanna pick your template that you wanna use. And you wanna left click on it. Then you wanna go ahead and drag your media into the different sections. And you can make all your other adjustments and when you're done, click on okay. So it's gonna add your video collage into the timeline and you're good to go. Now you wanna move your playhead to a position where the animation is complete. So I'm gonna drag my playhead through and we see this thing animating and getting all groovy and stuff like that. And then you wanna add the clip or image that's in the collage down into the timeline underneath the collage. So I'm gonna make this balloon section zoom out. So I need to find that same image and here it is. I'm gonna left click and drag it down to where the playhead is and I'm gonna drag it underneath the collage and let go. And now I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor at the end of this until I see two arrows. I'm gonna hold on my left mouse and I'm gonna trim this in so that it lasts the same amount of time as the collage. So if I click here just to move my playhead and click on the image again, my playhead is now right at the beginning of the image. If you're using a collage that has angles, you have to use a garbage mat to create the angles and then use the PIP designer to zoom into the full screen. In order to do that, you'll need the new blue effects video essential six to apply the garbage mat effect. Since this collage uses squares and rectangles, you can use the PIP designer all by itself to zoom it into full screen. But before you do that, I wanna remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Now, let's get back to the breathtaking tutorial. To open up the collage designer, you can double click on the image or you can left click on the image once, go to designer, and then go to PIP designer. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the preview. And you wanna go ahead and use your nodes to resize this. So I'm going to place my cursor on one of the nodes until I see the diagonal line with two arrows. I'm gonna hold on my left mouse and I'm gonna bring this down to size. Now, I wanna make sure that it's right on top of the image that it's gonna zoom out from. So I'm just gonna drag this up here. The next thing we wanna do is enable some keyframes so that we can create motion. So we're gonna enable the position keyframe, the scale keyframe, and the opacity keyframe. Right now, all of these settings for these keyframes are locked into where the image is right now, so we don't need to make any adjustments. So we need to move our playhead to a position where we want the item to actually be full screen. The first thing I wanna do is change my position. So the middle position of the screen is actually 0 0.5. I'm gonna hit enter. 
and for Y it is 0 0.5 and I'll hit enter and it places it right in the center of the screen. So we also wanted to zoom in so we needed to be full screen. So for scale we're going to change the width to 1 and hit enter and that should automatically change the height to 1 and now it is full screen. So we're good to go with the position and the scale and if you play this back you'll see that it fills in the screen now. The issue that we have right now is that there's a border and this covers up the border on the side. So because we can't keyframe a border, we need to use opacity to make this blend in to the screen. So right now we have our playhead at the beginning again. And at the initial position, we want our opacity to be zero. So I'm going to move this down to zero. So then you want to move your playhead forward to a position where you want the image to be fully visible on the screen. You want it to happen kind of fast because you don't want it to take forever to zoom in, but you want it to hide the fact that there is no border. So you can move it up a few frames, wherever you think is right. And then you want to move your opacity back up to 100 at that position. So then if you play this back again, looks a lot better as it transitions from that corner to full screen. So now you can click on OK. And you can click on the empty space in the timeline, click on Home. And then you can click on play to see it again. And that's how you zoom from a collage to full screen using PowerDirector 17. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.